Hello everyone. Today I'm going to discuss about how to run MATLAB codes without having a software in your system. So we can run MATLAB codes online by using a web link that is known as Octave Online. So by using this Octave Online website that is octaveonline.net you can run all basic MATLAB codes and also we can analyze and we can change, edit, run, analyze the codes, analyze the plots etc. Everything we can do as we done in the MATLAB software. Okay. Suppose if you have an urgent need to run MATLAB codes but it is very difficult to install a MATLAB, latest version of MATLAB and it takes uh, so much of time and also space is very high. So to run basic MATLAB codes as a student, most of the MATLAB codes are very basic and all those can be performed and analyzed by using this Octave online website. Okay, today I'm going to describe and explain about how to use this Octave Online and how to run this MATLAB codes. So this description you can easily observe. It is a web user interface for JN Octave and is open source alternative to MATLAB. That is, you can consider this Octave Online as alternative to MATLAB. So here, go to Google, type Octave Online. So you'll observe one link. So just click on that link. One website will be opened. Okay. So there will be some instructions will be given or pop up here. So this is the instruction to how to give commands. So it's not required. So here, if you observe in this window, there will be some indications. Okay. Out of all this, you can observe at the bottom. This is nothing but the command window. This is a command window as we see in the MATLAB. So here it is known as Octave Command Prompt. So we can do all operations in command prompt itself. Okay. Suppose if you have very basic operations like you want to add two numbers, you can type two plus three. If you plus enter, okay, in seconds you'll get an answer as five. Okay. Suppose if we are giving A is equal to 4 and B is equal to 10, then we are writing the code like C is equal to A plus B, A plus B. Then automatically the code will run as summation, the output will be 40. Okay. Similarly, if you want to give any random number or a random signal, Okay, suppose I'm giving it as some z is equal to rand of 1 comma 100. If you give this command, so it will produce a random number starting from random numbers in the range of 1 to 100. That means it will display 100 random values between 0 to 1. Let us see what happens if you enter this. So press enter, so it will give 100 numbers okay 100 numbers all 100 numbers are between 0 and 1 that means this indicates that it is 0 0.9 it is 0 0.45 it is 0 0.188 something like this okay so it is some kind of uh, a function which is used to display random numbers suppose if you want to display it as a signal then you can use a function called stem z stem is used to display uh, if not stem, you can also use plot. So plot is generally used to display a signal. Suppose I'm using a plot of Z. So then enter. So it will give a plot like this. Okay. What is this? This is a random values starting from 0 to, uh, these are the 100 uh, random values, but the values are limited to 0 to 1. That is the default. Uh, uh, way of uh, obtaining the random values in MATLAB. Suppose if you want to display random values between 
uh, 1 to 10 or 20 to 100, something like that. So just you can multiply this. Okay, you can multiply this z into uh, uh, 10 into rand. 10 into rand means it will indicate it will display random values from 10 to uh, or 1 to 100. Uh, sorry, 1 to 10. Okay, suppose whatever I said, I am going to display here. Z is equal to if you press up and down arrows in your keyboard, so you'll, it will give previous instructions. Okay. I'm giving 10 into Kelly. The values will be so. Let us see how what are the values. So 1.7 is one random value. 0 0.17 is another random value. 4.4 .4 is another random value. 5.6 is another random value. So it is displaying random values between 0 and 10. Between 0 and 10 okay suppose if you want to display random values between 0 and 100 then you should multiply this with 100 into random 1 to 100 so you can also display this again so you will get some random variations of these values so all these basic things you can run in the command prompt itself but if you want to use scripts that means if you want to create a MATLAB file or if you want to uh, upload some MATLAB file, .m file and if you want to run that, then that is not possible in the command window. So that here it is indicating that if you want to use scripts, so you should sign in to create and share script files. So that means you need to sign in. Otherwise that script edition and uh, uh, editor window, it will not display. So that's why I'm signing with Google. So sign in with Google account, any account. Okay, that is must to use the scripts. Say I'm making with sign in with Google account, one of my Google account. After sign in, you can easily observe a scripting window also. That means editor window will be open automatically. So you can clearly observe here. Okay. Already I have done some examples. So all these MATLAB files are already displayed here. So suppose if you want to use a new MATLAB file, then how to create that? So here there is a file and there is a plus sign here. So create empty file by clicking on it. So always we know that MATLAB files must be saved with the extension of .m. So here you can give file name so suppose example dot m okay okay here automatical example dot m file will be created in the left side so when you click on this when you click on this some already i have created with file name suppose if you want to give another one two dot m okay so this is example 2 dot m so like that an empty file will be opened by default in the Octave online so this instruction will be by default it is included in every file suppose if you save this is the save button and this is the run button if you run this what is the uh, code written in this example 2 dot m by default it is display of hello world that means hello world will be displayed so when you click on this run automatically hello world will be displayed Suppose if you don't want this, if you want to write your own code, if you want to write your own code, then suppose you can type all your instructions here. Suppose uh, I'm giving an example here. Okay. Suppose I am giving a values of a frequency, amplitude, time, etc. I am want to display two sign two waveforms. One is a sign two pay of city, another one is a cos two pay of city. Uh, just I want to display these two waveforms in plots. Okay, this is only simple example to display two uh, sinusoidal web. So I am saving it, and when you click on run, automatically the waveforms, two waveforms will be displayed. This is a sine wave, and this is a cosine wave. Okay, suppose if you want to clearly observe this waveform, something is not visible clearly, so there is a button here which shows that expand, expand plot window. So when you click on this, and then this separate window is opened again when you click on this so clear 
representation of waveform will be displayed. So if you want to go back again, click on this window. So it will go back again. If you click on this expand plot window, so it will be removed automatically. So I'm clicking it. So that will be removed automatically. OK, so this is what the way we need to use Octave online to run all kind of MATLAB codes. OK, for example, if you want, if you have any codes already we have, suppose if you want to do this code without using MATLAB, I'm using with it. I'm copying this code and I'm pasting here. OK, so I pasted here. I'm saving it and run. So this is the code for amplitude modulation. So that amplitude modulated waveforms all will be displayed. So the message signal, carrier signal, modulated signal, demodulated signal. So expand this plot. Again, click on this. So it will be all the waveforms will be clearly displayed. You can also zoom it. OK, you can also zoom it, right? So you can analyze all the waveforms and values, representations, etc. Whatever you can, you can do here. And of course, suppose if you want to uh, modify any values here, you can you can click on it and you can change the values automatically and again save and run. So it's very simple to run all kind of MATLAB programs online through this Octave online website. OK. So I think it is useful for you. Uh, in, a, uh, in, in run for running the MATLAB codes in a very, very simple way. Right. So thank you.